A uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Our Friday's Alive program commencing in about 26 minutes at 5.55. Nine races. Very nice 20 cent single six jackpot carryover in excess of $50,000. That will start in tonight's fourth race. Let's open up our programs. Here are the changes. In the opener three, my Tommy Lee, a jockey change to Corey Orm, one pound over the weight. Three by Tommy Lee, Corey Orm, one pound over. Seven Elegant Taste, also one pound over the weight. Race one will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. Ready for the Friday's live opener, ready for the nine mares. Early pick five time. And there they go. Super Lucy towards the tail of the field. Mary of Zoll and Renaissance begin the best. Quiet Dawn's up close with Elegant Taste. Walrus strides into the fifth spot. An eight that comes away running in sixth. I'm going to my Tommy Lee, and the last two are Miss Getty Up and Super Lucy. Renaissance has her nose in front of Mary of Soul. Quiet Dawn tracking from third. Elegant Taste in the fourth spot. Walrus against the rail. Fifth, a little more than three off the lead. Anita, a little shy of four lengths from the pace. It's a break of four lengths. Miss Getty Up, who's picking up her stride, heading into the turn. Outside of my Tommy Lee, Super Lucy still at the back. Renaissance and Mary of Soul continue to battle it out. Here comes Anita with momentum. Anita's ready to tackle the top two. And Miss Getty Up continues to close ground. She's into the fifth spot from the outside. Anita has come away with the lead, getting first run on Miss Getty Up. Anita has the lead. Miss Getty Up has made up a lot of ground. She is one closing in very strongly. Anita got first run. Miss Getty Up has the final furlong to come and gun her down. Anita still with the lead. Miss Getty Up's into the second spot. I'm going to Renaissance and my Tommy Lee. Anita, Miss Getty Up, Super Lucy late on the scene into third. Anita trying to get to the wire. Miss Getty Up trying to tag her late. Anita and Miss Getty Up and a Friday's Alive Thriller to kickstart the card. Pretty tight between those two. Anita, Miss Getty Up, Super Lucy was third and fourth place to my Tommy Lee. Got first run on Miss Getty Up. Both of them had a beautiful looks through the turn. You could see Anita was ready to take the top spot heading to the quarter pole. You could also see that Miss Getty Up was really beginning to lengthen her stride nicely from that back marker. 118 and 7 one hundredths. That is a very, very tight slow-mo involving Anita and Miss Getty Up. Photo will determine the winner in the Friday's Alive opener. Season six-year-old dark bear, brown mare by Get Stormy out of the Monashi Mountain Mare up and away by Tim Gerton, Mark Mazzacco, and Pete McGee. Tim Gerton is the winning trainer. How about Ava Cedillo? He got the late daily double last night. Right back at it with the Friday's Alive opener. That exact of $50.96. The trifecta $55.43. 10 cent superfecta $54.78. Dollar superfecta $547.89. Second race will begin the early pick four. Scratch number one, collect a lil. Our second race is in 23 minutes at 625. And there they go. English Charm and Floris are showing good pace. Lucky Phoenix is also prominently positioned. So too is my blue Valentine. Candy kick behind them. Floris has the lead. It is Floris with the lead from Lucky Phoenix. Now here comes Lucky Phoenix clearing away from Floris. English Charm, I believe, is the third horse. From the inside, she will ghost you. She will ghost you racing with Anna from the far outside. So we're going to stick with Lucky Phoenix. We definitely know Lucky Phoenix is on the lead. Looks like English Charm still fighting for second. Floris from the inside. My Blue Valentine, I believe, is in the fourth position. There she will ghost you. I can make her out on the television monitor. She is advancing in the two path. And that's about as good as I can see. And now I'm in trouble. I'm not sure what's going on. Lucky Phoenix still with the lead. There's English Charm the Gray. She will ghost you gets a little closer. Boy, Lucky Phoenix is really coming back to this group. She will ghost you has made up significant ground along the inside. There's my Blue Valentine sweeping into the scene. And to the extreme outside, one trying to run on. Perhaps that is a DDB, but it is She Will Ghost You. She is the one to beat English Charm, makes her move after her. She Will Ghost You in English Charm. Anna's trying to close in. Flora still has a little fight from the inside. I think it's all about She Will Ghost You. Now you see her. 
Now you don't. She will ghost you. She is the leader in deep stretch, but there are others coming. Here is English Charm. Here's Anna. And also to the far outside. Who's that one trying to pick them all up to the extreme outside? That could be economic hangover. She will ghost you. All right. She will ghost you, economic hangover, Anna. And checking in fourth was English Charm. Now you see her, now you don't. She will ghost you, I believe, hanging on. Anna and Economic Hangover were making big runs. Here's that slow-mo, yep, she will ghost you. Looks like she's got that head down along the inside. 139 and 99 one hundredths. I've been the announcer at Figure Lakes for the last 15 years. It's never snowed like this in Western New York, at least when I'm calling races. 139 and 99 one hundredths. Race two unofficially. Still waiting for that photo. In the winner's circle is number two. She will ghost you a four-year-old of Bay Philly by Gervin out of the Ghost Zapper Mare Ghosty. Owned by Red TR Racing LLC. Karen Wittick is the winning a trader winning jockey Alex Ajar. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Brereton C. Joe. 10 cents super vector, $39.67. Dollar super, $396.79. Two eight exact, $38.28. Two eight five trifecta, $44.84. Four two early daily double, $16.77. Third race, 22 minutes away. 6.54 is the post time. A double and a mid pick three. Tonight's third race, scratch number nine, Rocket Docket. And there they go, Stone Vicious away awkwardly, comes away at last. Spycraft is showing plenty of pace. Also their Sergeant Barger from the inside, Louisiana Animal. Akamai forwardly positioned. Grand Tour to God is in the fifth position, and he's two and a half lengths off the lead. Bonnie Bill is four lengths from the pace. Two and a half clear from Stone Vicious and stop hammer time. Spycraft is the speed to the inside, Louisiana Animal. Akamai forwardly positioned from third. Long shot Sergeant Barger's three deep heading into the third. He vies for the second spot. Bonnie Bill had to check off heels. Grand Tortugon trying to wind up four links to make up on Spycraft. And the last two remain. Stop hammer time and Stone Vicious. So Spycraft proved to be the quickest in a race filled with pace, and he's the one to come and catch. Boy, Sergeant Barger's outrunning his odds from the outside. Then go to Akabai. Grand Tortugon to the extreme outside. Stone Vicious now hitting his best stride with stop hammer time. They got to come and catch Spycraft. A healthy lead past the eight pole. Grand Tortugon, Akamai, Stone Vicious to the extreme outside. Still Spycraft with the lead. Here comes Stone Vicious. Spycraft's getting a little tired, but he has a big enough lead. Spycraft. Stone Vicious was making up a lot of ground to the far outside. Third got tight. Stop hammer time or Grand Tour 2 got after them, Akamai. 110 and 12, 100. Stewards have just called. The inquiry signs coming up on the board. They want to see the start concerning number eight, Stone Vicious. Three Spycraft. Proved to be the quickest of the quick. How often do you see it in a race that looks like it has plenty of pace on paper? Whoever proves to be the quickest, more often than not, can find himself just chugging all the way to the wire. I've seen it year in and year out. Three, a Spycraft, the speed of the speed. A gate to wire winner under Declan Cannon. Spycraft is in the winner's circle, a seven year old bag elding by Discreet Cat out of the Bernardini Mare Sugarcraft. By David Miller, winning a trader, Jason Cook, winning a jockey, Declan Cannon. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Godolphin. Once again, eight stone vicious was declared a non-starter. We will have a replay of the start of tonight's third race. Here it is, King on the eight stone vicious. His respective post, the starting gate, just did not open up properly. He had to muscle his way out of his respective post. Stewards felt they should declare eight stone vicious a non-starter. You can see his starting gate, his stall, his post, gate did not open up properly, forced him to kind of have to muscle his way out of the starting gate. Stewards felt that it was only right to declare eight stone vicious, eight non-starter. And we have the prices, 3.7 exact at $29.30, 3.76 trifecta, $55.27, 2.3 a daily double, $8.78.
two eight consolation double two dollars three cents ten cent super three seven six four forty two dollars fifty two cents dollar superfecta four hundred twenty five dollars twenty two cents a four two three early pick three thirty five dollars sixty seven cents four two eight consolation version of the early pick three five dollars forty cents Three seven six four officially in tonight's third race. Moving on to the fourth, starting the twenty cent single six jackpot. How about this one, fans? In excess of fifty thousand dollars for that carryover, fifty thousand six hundred twenty six dollars and fifty six cents. Twenty minutes away. Scratch six. Nip and tuck. And there they go. Two birds is hustled out for the early lead. Also there is soulmate. Anbra, who likes to be forwardly positioned, taking advantage of his inside post, and he will make the pace. So it is Vanbra on the lead from a two birds. And from the inside is Hemp Heaven. Soulmate is up close to the action. And from the extreme outside is the favorite, LeBlanc, from the rail. Their race is Founder. Founder is about three and a half lengths off the pace. More than a length back to a mobster gun. Long Lance goes with him in the clear from the outside. They're both about five lengths from the leader. Better than six lengths to 77 stone with silver quarters. And Patty's house is the last of all. Vanbra has the lead. Two birds is pace partner. Hemp Heaven chases them from third. LeBlanc's into the fourth spot, inching a little closer. And he races with Soulmate. And they have about three lengths to find heading into the turn. Long Lance is beginning his bid. He gets within five lengths of the pace. He's trying to close in. From the inside is Founder giving way just a bit as Mobster Gun. It still is Vanbro with the lead. Two birds has been applying plenty of pressure. Here comes LeBlanc and here comes Long Lance. Three and four wide at the quarter pole. Long Lance and LeBlanc ready to gobble up the two pacemakers. LeBlanc and Long Lance off the turn and Silver Quarters is trying to find his stride. How about Soulmate? He has a little bit of a look and also founders trying to kick it into high gear long lance has made the front leblon stays with him silver quarters to the far outside there's silver quarters tackling long lance silver quarters long lance silver quarters and long lance silver quarters long lance second third and fourth involves leblon and founder the axe man delivering the axe a very patient ride Axel Concepcion moved Long Lance through the far turn run. Declan Cannon also was moving LeBlanc just about at the same time. Luan Machado sat very, very chilly with silver quarters, and he comes with a big run in the final quarter of a mile. Three silver quarters, a nine to one upsetter. Tagging 10, Long Lance on the line. Photo third and fourth, 137 and 24 one hundredths, the final time. There's Silver Quarters. That's two in a row. Undefeated in these two starts here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming is fifth overall. Winner's circle is in the paddock this evening due to the inclement weather. Silver Quarters, an eight-year-old gray around gelding by General Quarters out of the Wild Sin Mare Sinned by Russell McGurvin. Trader Steve Manley, the Axeman. Luan Machado, the winning jockey. Winner was bred in Illinois by Judith and Russell McGurvin. That exact $202.98. The trifecta $162.09. A 3-3 daily double, $41.84. 10 cent superfecta, $234.30. Dollar super, $2,343 dollars and a penny. 233 pick three, $67.05. 283 consolation pick three, $9.89. Fifth race starts our late pick five. Scratch both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. And two bears by 10 and contemplation, 13 and 14, both scratched. One Stormtown, now three pounds over the weight, 12. Miller to Maverick, one pound over. And a couple of horses with additional workouts. Five, Hoy Lake, Turfway Park, 2nd of December, half mile, 49 and one fifth, breezing out of the gate. 11 Banjo Chris, High Point Farm and Trading Center, 13th of February, 3-8, 37 and 3 fits, breezing over a fast racetrack. And there they go. Bow Street and Universal Sound are showing plenty of speed. Brody is also somewhat forwardly positioned along with Thought That Counts. It is the favorite, Bow Street the quickest. Thought That Counts is there from his outside. Miller to Maverick is pressing from the extreme outside. 
And behind them races Yellow Card. He races with a Brody and from the rail Universal Sound. And further out in the field races Enhanced Scat. Enhanced Scat is trying to make up ground. He passes a Brody. Enhanced Scat now midfield. From the inside is Gold Aspen. He is six lengths off the lead. Banjo Chris trying to gear up, but he's under a pretty heavy drive from that far outside. It is Bow Street, the leader, and he gets all of the attention at the quarter pole. Miller to Maverick comes with his run. Thought that counts is all in. From the inside is Universal Sound. In the meantime, Yellow Card has improved his position. Here comes Yellow Card after Bow Street. Also trying to close in, Enhanced Scat. And from the extreme outside, Stormtown with Brody. So it is Bow Street with the lead, and Yellow Card comes with his run. Universal Sound up the inside. Universal Sound has put his head in front. Bow Street still has some fight. Universal Sound in Bow Street. Universal Sound from the inside. Universal Sound. Bow Street second. And third, Yellow Card. And Stormtown finished fourth to complete the Superfecta. Well, the racing gods were on our side for race five because about a minute or two before post time, you couldn't see much. At least there was some visibility for the running of the fifth race. Eight of Bow Street, the big favorite at three to five. He's going to play second fiddle this evening to number three, Universal Sound, one of the eight debuters. This one had a very nice bullet drill recently, a snappy 47 and one fifth raising out of the gate, a bullet that moved that morning. And three, Universal Sound runs big. Eight, Bow Street checking in second. Good run from 10 yellow card and a photo for third with Stormtown. Nice running time, 116 and 39, 100. Universal sound, you only get one chance to make a favorable first impression. How about this guy's run? A three-year-old, a dark bear, brown colt by Uncle Mo out of the Flatter Mare Soul Singer. Run by Bradley Thoroughbreds. Cameron Equine, LLC, Gary Finder, and Belmont Racing and Breeding, LLC. Winning trainer Steve Asmussen, winning jockey Martin Garcia. Universal Sound was bred in Kentucky by Gary Broad. Early pick four, $406.72, 10 cents super effective, $330.77, dollar super, 3307 dollars 72 Set of three for the pick three, $167.29. Three, 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 a set of threes. Early pick five, better than $2,100. Three, eight exact to $41.26. Three, eight, 10 trifecta, $76.13. Three, three, daily double, $84.52. Race six will start our late pick four. There will be no superfecta wagering in tonight's six. Scratch two, party. Field size reduced to five. No superfecta wagering. Two party has been scratched from the sixth. Commencing our late pick four. 22 minutes away at 825. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, due to the inclement weather, the remaining portion of our Friday's Alive card has been canceled. I do apologize for this inconvenience. Not really much we can do. The weather has not cooperated this evening. We will cancel the remaining four races on the Friday's Alive card. We do encourage fans to stick around, enjoy all of the action on the gaming floor. Check out our race and sports book. We have the $15,000 cash cascade happening all the way up until 9.30. So still time to get your entries printed and deposited. All the way up until 9 o'clock, two $500 free play winners every 15 minutes. 9.15, one $1,000 free play winner. At 9.30, one $1,000 cash winner, part of our $15,000 cash cascade. So some live entertainment at Bourbon and Brew starting in a little less than 50 minutes. That's at 9 o'clock. All the way up until midnight, live entertainment, live music by DB8. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. 5.55 for the Saturday opener. Hope you did enjoy the first five races on the Friday's Alive card. We'll see you tomorrow, 5.55. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Good night, everyone.